Hello, on this video, I'm going to talk about C++ asserts as well as static asserts. So for that, I'm going to create a new project, a C++ console app project. And in order for this to work, I need to include the C assert. And now I'm good to go. All right, so the main difference between a search and a static assert is that the first one only works at runtime, and the second one only works at compile time. So let's take a look on the first one. So let's say you ask the user to enter a age. And the user enters a value and you don't know if this age is a valid value or not. So because of that, one of the things that you can do is put a assert here and you're going to assert if age is actually bigger or equals to zero. In other words, age cannot be a negative value. And I'm gonna put a C out here just to say that elegantly finish the program. So if this assert fails, it will crash the program. So I'm gonna run this program now and I'm going to put age equals 21. Now, when I do that, the program does not crash. My final message displays and everything is good. I'm going to run again. And I'm going to put age negative 21 now. So once I do that, the assert fails. And it gives me some information here that the assert fail, it says age has to be bigger or equals to zero, then the file name and the line number. So it tells me that this assert here failed. So assert, if it fails, it crashes the program. So assert is not something that we would like to see in production. This is mostly for development. Because if it's on production, I would rather the program to get some wrong data instead of crashing. If you use a cert to do development, you will have a cert all over your code. Now, once you finish your code, you take that to production, you need to do one of these two things. You need to go back and delete every single assert that you have throughout your entire code, or you can turn off right here at the top with the define so the no debug. I'm going to run this program and I'm going to pass a valid age 30. It finishes elegantly. And now I'm going to pass a invalid age negative 30. And then also it finishes elegantly. So even though I enter a bad data, the program did not crash because this assert got ignored because I put the no debug right here on the top. So this code here turns off the asserts. And if you notice, all these assert here were at runtime. Now, let's talk about the static assert. So I'm going to remove this code. I'm going to remove all, and I'm going to do some cleanup. And now I'm going to use the static assert. So the static assert only works at compile time. So first, I'm going to display here the size of integer in this computer. And I know that the size of integer of this computer is 4 bytes. So I'm going to run this program. And it says here four bytes. Let's just say I write my entire program with the assumption that the integer on this computer is four bytes. And then I take this code to another computer where it's less than four bytes. 
So if that's the case, we have a problem because the entire program is not going to run. And the reason is because maybe on this program, I'm using the all four bytes of the integer. So if that's the case, I need to assert at compile time. In order to do that, I'm going to use the static assert. And then I'm going to pass the size of int that has to be bigger or equals to 4. And then the second parameter is the message that I want to display in case this assert fails. So I'm going to put a message here that int is less than 4 bytes. Now, I'm going to save this program. And once I save, Visual Studio compiles this code for me. So I'm going to save, and then Visual Studio compiled, and I don't see any error. Now, if you look right here on the bottom left, on the error list, I see no errors whatsoever. So that means this assert already passed the test. Remember, this is done at compile time. Now, if I change the value here to, let's say, 5, I know the 5 fails this assert, and I get a red squiggly. And if you look right here on the bottom left on the error list, there is an error that tells me the assert fail, and the message says int is less than 4 byte. Now, so in summary, assert is for runtime tests, and static assert is for compile time tests. All right, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.